Welcome to this video lecture series on analysis and design of algorithms. So in this session, I shall explain about the AVL tree, the definition for the AVL tree and how to balance an AVL tree. So first thing here, I have written the heading AVL trees. This AVL trees were invented in the year 1962 by two Russian scientists. The names of these Russian scientists are G. M. Adelson Valsky and E. M. Landis. So this Adelson, Valsky and Landis after whom this data structure is named. So let us see the definition here. An AVL tree is a binary search tree in which the balance factor. Now what is balance factor? It is defined as the difference between the heights of the nodes left and the right subtrees. So this balance factor of every node in the tree should be either 0 or plus 1 or minus 1. So balance factor of every node should be either minus 1, 0 or plus 1. Let me just take one example. Suppose if there, are, if there is a tree which is constructed in this manner, you have the parent node as 10. In the previous session, I have already shown you examples wherein how to calculate the balance factor of every node. Same procedure you apply here and try to write and write the balance factor. So for the node 2, check the balance factor is what it is greater than these numbers. So we can accept a balance factor of minus 1. 0 or plus 1. If you look into this tree, for the nodes 2 it is 0 acceptable, for the node 8 it is 0 acceptable, for node 7 it is minus 1 acceptable, 4 1, for node 5 it is 0, for node 20 it is 0 except for this. So when you see a tree wherein a node is not having a balance factor equal to minus 1 or 0 or plus 1 then you need to balance the tree. So this tree we say it is not an AVL tree. Why do we say it is not an AVL tree? Because the balance factor of node 10 is 2. The above tree is unbalanced. Now we need to balance this tree and the balance can be done by transforming the tree with a rotation. So now you have to learn one more term here. One more operation that can be performed on the tree it is called as the rotation. So what exactly is the rotation? Let me first define a rotation in an AVL tree is a local transformation of its subtree rooted at a node whose balance factor has become either plus 2 or minus 2. So in a tree when you see a particular node having a balance factor of plus 2 or minus 2. So there are several such nodes. We rotate the tree rooted at the unbalanced node that is the closest to the newly inserted node. The types of rotations are first one is the we call it as single right rotation the example for the single right rotation it will rotate the edge connecting the root and its left child in the binary tree initially you assume that you have a tree which is having two nodes 5 and 2 now you want to insert node 1 so inserting node 1 1 is less than 2 so it will come to the left of the node 2 the tree becomes in this manner now check the balance factor here this is 0 this will be 1 minus 0 1 this will be 2 minus 0 2 so now node 5 is having what a balance factor of 2 that needs rotation so here we need to carry out the single r rotation single right rotation so when you try to rotate like this okay in the right direction your node 5 will come down node 2 will be placed here and you have node 1 in this manner so this way you have carried out the right rotation and now when you calculate the balance factor for node 1 it is 0, for node 5 it is 0, for node 2 it is 0. Now let us take the second type of rotation. You call this as a single left rotation. Suppose initial tree is like this. Initially you have two nodes in the tree 1 and 2. So now you want to insert one more node 3. So 3 will be placed towards the right side of the node 2 as 3 is greater than 2. Now when you calculate the balance factor for, for 3 it is 0. So this will be 1 whereas here you have 0 minus of 2 which is minus 2. So minus 2 not acceptable. Now you need to make it balance by performing the left rotation now. So carry out the left rotation towards the left side if you pull node 1 will take this position this 2 okay this will take the center position and here you have the 3 
so this way you have balanced it and you can check the balance factor for these two examples you have carried out the rotation in just one step so we also call this as single right rotation is done in single step or one step whereas the the single right rotation why we call this a single right rotation is it is done in a single step here and this left rotation is a single left rotation it is also done in one step the third type of rotation is double left right rotation we call it as double left right because it is carried out in two steps let us see one example here initially you have a tree with two nodes in this manner three and one so now you want to insert node 2 so node 2 is greater than node 1 node 1 will be placed here but now for this tree if you calculate the balance factor it will be it will be 0 here 0 minus 1 minus 1 whereas for this node 3 it will be 2 perform the LR rotation first time only left okay so you are going to carry out the in the first step the left rotation when you do the left rotation you just make this node 2 to appear here so the first node 3 will be as it is the node 2 will come at the center and node 1 will get this node 1 okay will appear at the bottom so once you get in this form then perform the right rotation so whatever you carried out for the right rotation same way the balance factor of all these three nodes is like so this type of rotation is done in two steps first you perform the left rotation you will get in this form the tree then you perform what to this the right rotation and you will get the tree like this wherein it is balanced so the last type of rotation the fourth type it is the double right left rotation we will see an example for this suppose initially you have the tree in this form you have node 1 node 3 okay two nodes are there now you want to insert another node 2 2 is towards the left side of 3 so it will come over here now if you check the balance factor the balance factor for this node 1 is minus 2 so it is an imbalanced tree now you need to balance this is a two step rotation and here you will carry out in the first step only the right rotation the resulting tree after the right rotation now to this tree you will perform the left rotation so the resulting tree will be now calculate the balance factor for node 1 it is 0 for node 2 it is 0 for node 3 it is 0 so this also got balanced by two steps first time right rotation second time left rotation so always remember fall rotations get applied only to three nodes and always check the tree became imbalanced by adding which node the node which is added is always a leaf node if the addition of a node is resulting into an imbalanced tree which node became imbalanced into these lines first thing is all rotations are applied to three nodes so which three nodes are you going to select after you add a node a tree became imbalanced the node that gets added is the leaf node then by adding the node by adding the leaf node which node became imbalanced so the node which became imbalanced has to be selected and the leaf node which got added to the tree need to be selected so when you are selecting this bottom node and the top node definitely these two are getting connected with some in between node so that way you are going to select always only three nodes to perform the rotation the two step rotation can also be done in one single step suppose important note on the avl trees so in all these operations whether it is insertion of a node or deletion of a node or searching a node all these three operations have got efficiency theta of log n for an avl tree these inequalities immediately imply that the operations of searching and insertion are theta log n
so in this session i have given you the definition for the avl trees and the different rotations that can be performed on a tree to make the tree balance example on avl tree i will be discussing in the next session hope you find this session helpful please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye and take care